So what we're actually looking at here is the hay rake. So once the grass is cut in the big fields, then uh, these little rakes here, these little wheels, will actually gather it up and rake it into one big single pile, uh, long lines. Connects to the back of the tractor, um, running off of PTO gears, which is kind of neat in itself. And then uh, here's a tractor that's being used today to do that. I uh, believe it's a John Deere. And uh, it's actually pretty nice. And then in the front, you have another PTO attachment going up front. This is what actually cuts the weeds, the grass, um, whatever you guys want to call it. Pretty neat. Um, went ahead and dropped the GoPro down so we could get underneath and take a look. So you can see your cutting heads there. Um, you know, it looks to be uh, kind of belt driven with the PTO gears. So it's pretty neat. Um, this is something I norm I didn't normally grow up watching and seeing. So this was something I thought I had the opportunity to stop on the bike and take a look and kind of get up close with it. And uh, this is one of those things where, you know, if you're on a bike, you can do that. Here you can see that more of the hay rakes. And uh, pretty neat. You know, it kind of scoops it all in a, one nice long line. And then the second tractor going behind the hay rake set up is a, I believe, a New Holland tractor. And uh, again, PTO in the back here. And this one will actually scoop up all these little, little teeth here. They scoop up that long line of uh, grass that was raked up by the hay, by the hay raker. This will actually create big round bales, and it will string the bales, which you guys are going to see here in a couple minutes, the, the actual result of this work. And then it kind of drops them out the back to be able to be picked up by a uh, skid steer, um, anything like that, and be able to be loaded up on a trailer to go be stored or go be sold. Uh, really always interested in this type of stuff to see how things are done. So here is the uh, final product, and this is a big round bale, probably about five feet tall, about five feet round, I'm guessing, uh, pretty massive. And uh, this has multiple strings around there. This is what came out of that big baler, and uh, they're pretty tight strings, I mean, as you can see here. Uh, just stuff that I thought was pretty cool. I've seen all kinds of stuff, you know, as I pass these by. Um, Whatever is pretty much in the ground ended up in these as long as it's not, you know, anything super solid. But I've seen snakes come out of them, um, all kinds of different bugs. Um, I've seen different types of weeds that's been mixed into them. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy a little bit of explanation on uh, what you guys are seeing. And get outdoors, man. Enjoy it.